Hello guys, Ancient Gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco Who? and welcome to my channel. Oh shit, here we go again. As for this video we have the review of the new Adrenaline drivers, the Adrenaline 25.6.3 and by the way these are optional drivers again, so we have the 25.6.1 which are the WHQ signed drivers, which are, which are basically drivers that are also verified by Microsoft. Then we have the 25.6.2 drivers, which in my opinion are one of the best drivers that you can get right now for almost any GPU, at least for the GPUs that I tested, 25.6.2 drivers are great. And now we have another optional one, 25.6.3. Maybe because the 25.7.1 drivers will take a bit longer, so AMD is kind of stuffing things up or maybe just releasing a driver with some fixes. But these drivers aren't bad and they actually bring some improvements that you should know about. So 25.6.3, and as I say in all my videos, 25 is the year 2025, 6 is the month June, and 3 is the revision that in that month, so the third revision of June. And you watching this video of course means that you need to watch today's sponsor. Today's video sponsor is GVG More, bringing you lots of software deals like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2019 or 2021 with a new Windows 11 design. And for all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 30% off, getting a Windows 11 serial key for $22 and a Windows 10 one for only $15. Then use the key on your Windows settings and you'll have an activated system. So let's start with the release notes. Firstly, we have highlights with new game support for AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution 4, also as known, also not also as known, also known as FSR 4, for Monster Hunter Wilds and Grand Theft Auto 5 Enhanced. By the way, you can watch the, the list of supported FSR 4 games if you want to. Currently, I believe uh, we have around 74 games supported, which is not little actually, 74 games already with FSR 4. And by the way, GTA 5 Enhanced also worked with the 25.6.2 and I know because you can see this video with the 9060 XT running FSR 4 with the 25.6.2 drivers. I believe that they made it work here and maybe even with the 25.6.1 it, it was already working but the game hadn't been updated so it wasn't actually working. Rockstar needed to update the game into having FSR 3.1 in order to work with the FSR 4 injection so yeah. It, it was already working before, but now it is officially working. But you don't need these drivers. If you just like the previous ones more, or even the 25.6.1, I believe, you can just have them. GTA, 4, GTA 5, I mean, enhanced FSR 4 should be working. As for the fixed issues and improvements, we have some. With AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution 4 is not enabled while playing Dragon King The Banished, Blades of Fire, Roadcraft, The Altars, Star Wars Outlaws and Stalker 2 The Heart of Chernobyl on the Raiden RX 9000 series graphics products. And by the way, this is a thing that was, a, that was happening indeed with some of the previous drivers. For example, the preview drivers were working fine with games like Stellar Blade and so on. Uh, but as soon as you went to the 25.6.1 or 25.6.2, the, um, the Adrenaline app just wouldn't notice at all um, the, the Stellar Blade game, so it, FSR 4 just wouldn't work, unless of course you wanted to use OptiScaler, which is kind of a bummer, but now I already tested it, the Alters is working of course, Stellar Blade is working as well, uh, Stalker 2 was working for me before and the same for Star Wars Outlaws, but at least these two games that weren't working before are now working with of course FSR 4. The second fixed issue is intermittent system or application crash may be observed while playing Black Myth Wukong on the Radeon RX 7550 GRE sorry, graphics products, which is kind of a very small niche. And the last one fixed issue, oh, there's a bike passing by. And the last fixed issue is texture flickering or corruption may appear while playing The Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion Remastered with AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution enabled on the Radeon RX 9070 XT. And this has been an issue that occurred for quite some time and people were complaining a lot about it because again, people do play Oblivion, especially now that it is remastered and having those blue flickering or those blue lights was kind of a, an annoying issue. Leave a comment in the comment section telling us the community if it is fixed or not. Just let us know. But as usual we still have the known issues and since these drivers are specifically to fix like one or in this case three issues of course, there are still a lot of them. The first known issue is stutter may be observed while playing games with some VR headsets at 80 or 90 Hz refresh rate and so on. This is 
an issue that has been occurring for quite a while sadly and it seems to not be fixed yet which is kind of a bummer to be honest it's still here in the known issues uh, we also have intermittent system or application crash maybe observed while playing cyberpunk 2077 on some AMD Radeon graphics products such as the Radeon RX 7000 series and Radeon RX 9000 series a bummer as well also also happening for quite a while but again I believe this will be fixed on the main drivers 25.7.1 let's hope at least because this is not acceptable I believe for at least for for people that are paying a lot of money for their cards Intermittent application crash or driver timeout may be observed while playing Monster Hunter Wilds with raid and anti-lag and instant replay enabled. Again, another issue that has been running for a while. Stutter may be observed while playing Call of Duty Warzone Season 3 Verdansk map on some AMD graphics products. And this is this is really an issue that people have been complaining a lot in the in the comment section about the map not being playable, lots of stutters, and it is definitely an AMD slash Activision issue. Of course, this is this has to do with the developers too, because the, the previous maps are working fine, only that ma that map doesn't really work well. So it has to do with the developers as well, but it also has to do with AMD because, I mean, they work together and, and yeah, this is still happening, even though it isn't happening with Nvidia, which is sad. Well, which is not sad because great that it isn't happening with Nvidia, but I mean, which is sad that this is still happening for the RX 7000 series and not to the RX 9000 series because I played it and it seems fine. I need to make a video on the 7000 series, I guess. Stutter and lower than expected performance may be observed while playing 4K resolution YouTube videos in Chrome. Users experiencing this issue are recommended to play videos in full screen as a temporary workaround. And I already, I already told you guys in the previous video, but I was having this issue as well. And the issue just went away from the moment, by the way, if you are using Windows 11, go to the Windows 11 control panel, the, the old control panel, just go there. Uh, go to the to the power options or the power profiles instead of choosing high performance go with balanced and then go to the windows 11 settings power power options as well and select high performance because i tested it a guy in my comment section actually let us know about this and this is great as soon as i went with the old control panel from uh, the high performance to balanced my videos stopped stuttering and this is an issue that has been happening for quite a while and it was fixed like immediately so do that if you're having this issue it might really fix your problem now as for the things that i found about these drivers well these drivers are again kind of a kind of a crutch because again we are supposed to have way and and way more things on the new drivers on the new whql sign drivers the 25.7.1 but as for now i noticed that somehow the 7800 xt was having better performance in counter-strike 2 versus the previous 6.2 somehow but it was happening and I tested before the 6.1 versus the 6.2 and the performance was the same but with the 6.3 it seems that the performance is better as for all the other things in the alters and so on the performance is basically the same give it or take it it is the same so I wouldn't be really well bothered at all about that still in terms of fix issues there are some fix issues that are very very good people playing oblivion you guys need these drivers in order to have that corruption that gone basically that the corruption gone and also another thing that i've already noticed i don't really know why it is happening but it is happening is that on the previous drivers the 25.6.2 and 25.6.3 we don't really have the amd chat and this is one of the comments on the on one of the previous videos and i and i already noticed that but i but in these drivers i actually forgot i noticed on the 6.2 but in these drivers it is nowhere to be seen so it doesn't really ask you to install it which is great, but you don't really have the option to install it if you want to on the AMD app, which is odd. Any other people, just stay with the 6.2 because in my opinion, again, is one of the best drivers that you can get. Even though that the 6.3 didn't bring me any issues, so why not use the 6.3 instead of the 6.2, I guess. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe and share this video. As always, we are a community, so leave your comment in the comment section and let me know what you think about we think about things, we think about the drivers. Uh, I'm constantly hearing the, car, the cars passing by, the bikes, the chickens, the, the birds, <laughs> everything. So I believe that you must be able to hear them on video as well, since I'm using the lapel microphone. But yeah, it is what it is. Thank you very much. 
and see you in the next one. And by the way, let's watch a bit of the chickens. You see, they're just there. They just want to come out. I usually let them out, but they do a lot of a lot of shit, literally. So, yeah. Go with the wind, my friends. <laughs> so now, really, see you in the next video, guys. Cheers.